It was on December 31st, 2019, when health authorities in China, Wuhan, announced that dozens of people were being treated for an unknown pneumonia. This was the cause of the global pandemic, COVID-19. So about 17 months has passed, but the global pandemic is still going on. And as of May 18th, the number of deaths were like over 3 million people. But it is not only COVID virus itself is devastating. With the spread of COVID-19, misinformation problem is also going viral. Let's look at the data. Uh, it is a report from European Space Operation Center. With the surge of the COVID-19, false narrative problem is also going rampant. Yes, misinformation is really killing people. According to a report from the Center of the Study for Hate and Extremism, like last year in the US, there was a sudden surge in the number of Asian hate crimes while the number of overall hate crimes decreased. So like this spike first occurred in March and April last year with the like sudden rampant stereotyping of Asians and the rise of COVID cases. That indeed is a problem. Uh, the same thing happened in Korea too. Last year, when COVID-19 spread in Korea, there were actually cafes and restaurants which prohibited Chinese from coming in. Yeah, and there were like ridiculous stories regarding ways to wash out COVID-19. Like for example, like the, a man just put all the condolences money in the washer after the funeral. Uh, also, there was a man who put all the paper money in the microwave just to sanitize the money and had it all burned. Let me introduce an interview done by LGBT. It is an example of Korea's misinformation problem. Someone says, I suddenly got a phone call from my high school friend. Itaewon is going crazy because of you guys. What are you going to do? Isn't, isn't it spreading because of you guys are playing so promiscuously? No, that shouldn't really happen. So this is all because of low health literacy. In Korea, although like people are mostly well educated and most people have access to the internet, still like approximately 61% of adults in Korea show inadequate health literacy. So in order to prevent those unfortunate events like mentioned above, we need to like find out ways to solve and enhance health literacy and also contrive ways to block misinformation. But did you know that there are actually measures taken already to solve this kind of problems? So like the Korean Communication Commission has an anonymous bulletin where people can report false information. And also like the commission also requires broadcasting stations to thoroughly go over the facts and check if it's whether true or not before reporting. Yeah, but people don't know this. Even I found this reporting system only a few days ago. Since the current solution is not well known to people, we want to use the platform that people use a lot. So, we are going to use Kakao Talk for our new solution. And here it is. According to OECD research, combating COVID-19 disinformation on online platform, misinformation about the virus COVID-19 is significantly disseminated more widely and quickly than any other information through the internet. And in most cases, these kinds of misinformation tends to generate more user engagement because of its stimulating and sensational headlines and content. And as a result, this content personalization algorithm can expose people to the same or similar content even on the basis of this misinformation. So, our team devised this correct AI system by using the circular spreading mechanisms of the misinformation inversely. Main function of the correct AI system is keyword screening. As we mentioned, we use the features of the COVID-19 misinformation that is spread quickly across the internet. So therefore, some keywords are used with high frequency in a short time. Craig collects all the data related to COVID-19 online-based platforms such as internet and SNS, and you will screen and select specific keywords with high frequency. And based on this data, Craig will make the questions which people are interested in. These are yes or no questions and sent to expertise or fact checkers. They will give their own answers, annotation. Correct AI system's credibility is ensured because of this group's annotation. Based on this data, this correct system is going to determine whether the 
input information is true or false. It has some similarities to the conventional search engines such as Google. However, how it works is kind of a little bit different. For example, let's say I had pasted this URL which has real misinformation news article that certain milk products will decrease COVID infection. Then this correct AI system will make up a question called does certain milk products would decrease COVID infection by gathering the data from keyword screening, question making, and fact checkers annotation. So according to these mechanisms, as soon as I paste the URL of the fake news, um, this application will show up its already prepared questions by the system. But however, if it doesn't contain any useful information in the database, then it'll show some kind of related questions according to the question making system. In order to publicize our system effectively, we are going to use the stabilized and most widely used platform in South Korea called Kakao. The reason we are going to cooperate with Kakao is not only because it's one of the most widely and longest time used app in South Korea, but also it is related to the COVID-19 check-in system. So based on this fact, uh, we are able to effectively and rapidly publicize our system by using the Kakao. In 2021, we cooperate with social networking services and search engines such as Naver and Kakao to gather data and information. Also, in this period, we will start our beta test gathering data from people to indicate the needed information and further enhance our services. Until population immunity in Korea is maintained, we will focus only on vaccine-related information. In the next year, we will extend our service area from focusing only on vaccines to providing information about the overall COVID-19 crisis. Also, in this period, we are planning to extend our service area to foreign countries other than South Korea. To do this, we will cooperate with social networking services such as LINE, Snapchat, etc. In the third year, if COVID-19 is eradicated, our service will focus on fact-checking functions and go on to another level to improve health literacy. In this period, we will use AI-based education, letting students learn about how to accept trustful information and understand why health literacy is important. In the fourth year, we will develop our service to the extent where we can automatically crack misinformation while mis people are chatting online. And in the last year, we expand our consumer groups, considering marginalized groups to reach every single part of this society. Now, this is our budget. In the first year, the estimated budget is $19,000, followed by $12,000, $11,000, $7,000, and in the last year, $1,000. Next, we will explain our project sustainability. Since government already supports related activities, it will be easy to receive financial aid from the government. Mutations of COVID-19 and other infections may occur in the future even after the complete end of COVID-19. We will diversify our program to education using artificial intelligence to maintain our consumer base and promote health literacy. We will also include the underprivileged people into our target consumer group. For example, the elderly, who are not used to digital devices, will be our priority since they are also vulnerable to contagious diseases. We had a survey in advance in order to set priorities of this project. The survey was conducted online among 100 students of Korea University. According to the survey, People usually encounter misinformation from internet news articles and social network services. In addition, the survey reveals that people are most curious about the medical stability of vaccines and they want to know about information about side effects that are confirmed by the experts. They are also most curious about the AstraZeneca vaccine. So using this clue, we'll construct a precise database of our artificial intelligence. Our previous sur survey found that people think that corona-induced infodemics is caused by the indiscriminate spread of misinformation. It causes social disruption such as fighting online and having a false preconceptions. We are expecting a contribution to minimizing social costs by tackling out infodemics. We hope that people could cope better at the same situation in the future.